Hey guys, it's Chris. From being shaped like screws to surprising colors, join me as I reveal nine of the weirdest eggs in the animal kingdom. Number nine, shark eggs. It's often forgotten that sharks actually do lay eggs, mainly because they seem like such massive creatures that laying eggs would be beneath them. But it depends on the species because some have live young and others lay eggs. And depending on the species that you're examining, you'll find some rather unique looking shark eggs. For example, bullhead sharks have an eggshell around the embryo that isn't round, but rather it's auger shaped. The shell has two spirals that wrap around. And the reason for this is that when they're born from their mother, the eggs are put into cracks in the ocean floor. It's believed that this is due to the fact that predators will eat the eggs, and the auger shape helps make sure that they can get put in but not taken out without great force and precision. In contrast, sharks like the carpet shark, bamboo shark, and zebra shark have eggs that are all more oval shaped, and they actually have adhesive fibers that allow the eggs to stick to the bottom of the ocean area they're in so they don't get washed around. Finally, cat sharks have eggs that don't have a very hard shell at all, and they're actually semi-transparent. They're only about two inches long and have tendrils that attach to various objects in the area so they can remain rooted in place. And all this goes to show that even among creatures that have the same name like sharks do, they don't all lay the same kinds of eggs. Number 8. The Argonaut Octopus The octopus species known as the Argonaut is truly unique in terms of not just breeding, but how they lay their eggs. When breeding time comes, the males will detach their reproductive organ and let it go find females. And when it comes time for birth, the female Argonauts don't follow fellow octopuses in regard to putting their eggs in crevices or cracks in the ocean. Instead, they go make a basket nest unto themselves. They use minerals that are in their tentacles and slowly build up a basket for the eggs to reside in. And over time, it gets bigger and bigger. And finally, when the basket is complete and the eggs are inside, the female will actually go into the basket to protect the eggs. And while the mother does have her head and tentacles outside the opening to ensure she can move around, she's not afraid to fully hide within it if she feels the presence of a predator. The egg case itself is the largest that this genus of octopus can make, as examples have been found to be 300 millimeters long in comparison to other octopuses who do this and have only 67 millimeter long cases. Number 7. Suriname Toad it is a natural instinct in the animal kingdom for a mother to protect the eggs that she's laid. But when it comes to the Suriname, this mother takes a very extreme approach to ensure that her soon-to-be toadlets get the protection that they need. For you see, when the female Suriname toad is ready to reproduce with a male, she'll release about 60 to 100 eggs from her body, and the male that she's mating with will fertilize them. However, the male will then take the eggs he's fertilized and literally push the eggs onto the mother's back. And not just for one egg, but for as many as he can fit onto the female. These eggs actually stick to the mother's back. And then over the course of some time, the skin of the female toad will grow over the eggs themselves. At first looking like a honeycomb hive, and then the skin will encompass them completely. To those who find this toad before the eggs are covered, it creates a really unique visual. But just as unique, when the toadlets hatch from the eggs, they remain under the mother's skin for months until they're able to break out and live on their own. And now for number six, but first be sure to subscribe to World List and click the notification bell if you're new here. Number six, American Robin. A misguided belief among egg-laying creatures is that the colors of the eggs are a signal as to the colors or nature of the parent, and that's not the case at all in many animals, especially the American robin. This creature is rather legendary for laying blue eggs, even though the bird itself isn't blue in terms of body or feather coloring. So how does such a non-blue bird lay such blue eggs? And the answer is because the females make it that way, via a pigment called berliverdin. After the eggs themselves are laid, the female American robin will put this pigment onto the eggshells, thus turning them blue. 
Now this may seem like just a random thing, but the pigment and coloring of the egg serves a dual purpose for the robin. First, the pigment helps shield the eggs against UV radiation, ensuring an extra level of protection during the early stages of development. Also, the coloring of the eggs is a signal to the father that the children he has are healthy. Research has shown that the more blue the eggs are, the more content the father is that the children will be healthy, and thus he'll stay around and feed them more and ensure they grow up as best he can. Number 5. Green Lacewing the green lacewing is an insect that's well known for having a unique kind of offspring, and its development starts the moment that the eggs themselves are born from the mother. To ensure that they're safe and don't harm one another, the green lacewing will lower each egg down under a plant and attach them to the plant via a strand of silk. The eggs themselves will change colors when they're ready to hatch, going from a white hue to a much darker tone. And the placement of the eggs isn't just to protect them from each other, it's to ensure that they have what they need when they hatch, because when the baby green lace wings are born, they immediately go into a feeding frenzy and eat just about anything they can find, even their brothers and sisters. So the mother does its best to place the eggs above a feeding spot so they can eat to their heart's content when they're born. Number 4. Seahorses Often regarded as one of the cuter animals among the sea dwellers, seahorses also have one of the more complex reproduction cycles among animals. It takes multiple bouts and cycles of reproduction for the eggs to come forth, and once they do, they're not exactly in eggs per se, but rather in small see-through pouches. One of the more curious things about seahorses is that the males are the one that take care of the eggs. What's more, once these egg pouches are made, they're intentionally opened for a few seconds to allow for seawater to come into them, filling them to the brim with water and securing certain reproductive materials inside. This serves as a kind of protective environment, not unlike an incubator. Once the eggs are filled, they're put into a pouch wall, and spongy material grows around them to secure them even more. The male will then provide them with certain hormones that allows for their growth, and they'll continue to grow until they burst out of the pouch. Number 3. Kiwis The kiwi is a bird native to New Zealand and is one of many flightless birds to reside in our world. But in regards to its eggs, it holds a world record. Not for the size of the eggs, but rather the size of the egg in proportion to the size of the mother. You see, when comparing the egg size to the weight of the mother, the kiwi lays the biggest egg in the bird world. Just for reference, when it's giving birth to an egg, the egg itself weighs about 20% of the mother's body weight. And the labor is so intense for the kiwi that it can take up to a month just to lay one egg. What's more, when it's in the final stages of egg laying, the kiwi will find itself so full of its egg that it can't eat. But what is it that makes these eggs so heavy? Well, that's because unlike many other bird eggs, the yolk of the kiwis fills up about 65% of the area, compared to 35-40% to for most other birds. And when they hatch, the baby kiwis are already fully feathered and ready to live their lives without much help from the mother and father. Number 2. Yellow-Headed Jawfish the animal kingdom has come up with many ways to protect their young and unborn children that are in eggs. And when it comes to the yellow-headed jawfish, that means putting the eggs in their mouth in order to not just keep a figurative eye on them, but also protect them from threats. However, unlike many typical parental protections, it's not the mother that has the eggs in her mouth. Rather, it's the father that takes up the mantle of child protector. And what happens is that the mother will lay the eggs and fertilize them. And once that process has been taken care of, the father will Will come in and gather all the eggs into his mouth. Once complete, he'll start to incubate them, which can take over a week's time. And in case you're curious, the father will have anywhere from 300 to 500 eggs in his mouth during that time period, showing off not just the small size of the eggs, but also the flexibility of the mouth of the yellow-headed jawfish. Number 1. Ants Ants are known for being highly organized creatures, which is why they live in colonies. And when it's time for their queen ant to reproduce, they have a lot of work to do. Mainly because once the queen ant finds a suitable place to put her eggs, she literally just goes to work. By the end of said work, the queen ant will have laid about 300,000 eggs. To ensure that she stays alive during this process, the queen ant will live off what's inside her body in terms of fat and other nutrients. And if she feels the need to eat, she'll use whatever is around her, including eating her own wings. But what might be considered the weirdest part about these 300,000 eggs is that the queen ant quite literally chooses their fate. She can fertilize whichever egg she wants. 
So if she chooses not to fertilize the eggs, they'll become male drone ants. And for the record, they have two different chromosomes that help determine their gender based on fertilization. But now if she does fertilize them, they'll become female worker ants. And the queen ant is even able to choose which female ant she bred will become a queen herself and then go off and make a new colony. That is a lot of power in a single mother. Well, thanks for watching. What did you think about these weird animal eggs? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to add any other animals with weird eggs. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on World List.